Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Today I have for you Bulvarian Edge, the latest and greatest in knife sharpening tools that the as seen on television folks are pimping out. Before I begin filming all of my videos, I normally pull up the infomercial and I watch it and my eyes might be fooling me. You guys have to go watch the infomercial. They're cutting a tomato. That's the part of the video that I want you to pay very close attention with your eyeballs. Zoom in, watch it over and over. He took a credit card, he sharpened it with his Bulvarian Edge sharpener. He cut through that tomato like butter. Something didn't look right to me. Today we're gonna cut a tomato, a pineapple, an old loaf of bread that is as hard as a rock now, <laughs> and a piece of frozen steak, just like he does in the infomercial. They really sold this thing hard on that infomercial. So let's get started. Now I have an assortment here of knives. I have just a regular knife. He cuts that piece of steak with like a butter knife. So I do have a butter knife, but I also have like this frosting spatula thing. I wanna try that. It says I can sharpen anything. We have this knife with the little ridges to cut the bread. And of course we have the credit card so we can sharpen it and cut that tomato. And that's the one that we're all gonna be paying attention with your eyeballs. And then go watch that infomercial and tell me what you saw. Feels really nice. Got it. Got it. Got it, look at that. How fancy, it feels really nice. It has a little tag here that is letting you know that these two little arms should be facing you. So I'm gonna turn it around. Underneath there is also more instructions. If you want a coarse sharpening, then you wanna sharpen like this up. If your blade only has one edge instead of both edges that need sharpening, then you wanna sharpen like this kind of sideways. If you want a fine sharpening, you want to pull it down towards you. For these bread knives, you also want to sharpen it sideways. Let's get started with this loaf of bread because they don't have any kind of preservatives or any kind of added stuff. If you don't eat this within a week, it's gonna turn rock hard. And guess what? This one is rock hard. So I decided, hey, perfect for my video. Can you see that? Cutting board is in place. First, we should sharpen our knife. We're not gonna use that. We're gonna use this guy because this is a bread knife. It's pretty sturdy on the counter. One, two, three, go. In the infomercial, I also counted. He does it five times in pretty much all the items that he's cutting. Oop. Two, three, four, five. I don't see anything happening. I'm gonna go rinse this off to make sure there's no kind of things on there from that. It's washed. Now let's cut. Okay. I mean, it's not butter. Maybe we should sharpen it some more. Okay. I mean, you still need some strength, but I mean, it cut it, I guess. Let's do the pineapple. The pineapple should be easy. I'm gonna fine sharpen this guy, and then I'm gonna whoop that pineapple. Kids, don't do this at home. Fine sharpening is down and towards you. Down and towards you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I gotta wash this. For that one, I felt a little bit of metal coming off. That one did something. Are you guys ready for the exciting pineapple? He doesn't even hold it. Like, he just he does it twice, I think. I'm gonna do it once, not twice, because I'm afraid that my pineapple is gonna end up on my dining room table. <laughs> so I do think I'm gonna hold it. Okay, I'm gonna do it both ways. I'm gonna do it with both hands because I don't want my knife flying either. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Kids, don't be doing this shit at home. One, two, three. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's in there, but it's only like that much in there. Are you guys impressed? I'm not impressed. I wanted to go whoosh. We're gonna try it again on another side and hold it real good. I'm gonna swing really hard. One, two, <laughs> three. This is so stupid. I cut it. Hey, look at that. Okay, one, two, three, go. It didn't go all the way through, you see? One last time, the other side. 
I mean, I cut it. I think all knives can do that. I'm not like blown away at yeah, that infomercial. They just blew my mind with all the magical knife tricks that they're doing. But this is just like normal knife stuff. So I'm not impressed anymore. Let's go ahead and do the star of the show, which was an actual credit card and the tomato. I can't cut this tomato with a credit card. Mm -mm. Nope. Nothing's happening. Everybody's really impressed with that credit card. Every time someone has left me a comment, they mention the credit card trick. I guess we'll start by sharpening my credit card and then we're gonna try to cut it. Five little swipes. Ready, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do 10 just because. Six, 10. There's credit card plastic in my sharpener now. I have a feeling it's not gonna work, but let's try it anyway. Hey, it's cutting it, but it's not like butter. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see. I did it. Okay, I did not think that was gonna work, but I think you could probably cut this without sharpening it as well. But it worked, just like the infomercial said. So here's a bonus item for the video. That person cut a leather shoe in half. I have an old boot here. I actually can't find the other one, so I only have one. We're gonna try to cut this thing with my knife after we sharpen it with this powerful sharpening tool. Let's see if this knife is gonna cut through this boot. So far it's cut. It's not like butter, but it's cutting. I don't know if there's anything magical about this thing, but it's working just like they said. So I'm gonna do it 10 times instead of five, just because it's a leather shoe. One. Two, three, four, ten. Ooh, I don't know why I'm gonna go to clean it since I'm gonna be cutting a shoe, but I still have to clean it. There's stuff on it. This is so dramatic. I'm cutting a fucking shoe with a knife. <laughs> I have it on a napkin because I don't want this dirty ass boot that's been in my garage on my counter. Go. You have to have strength. Ready, go. Okay, it's cutting. It definitely cut that. Look, it cut it. It cut it. Are you impressed? So our final item is gonna be the piece of steak. In the infomercial, they actually use a butter knife and they just cut right through that frozen piece of steak. So let's see if we can do it. Let's try it with this icing spatula thing to see if this will cut through that steak. Here it is, frozen, solid piece of steak. Before I sharpen it, can we cut through? No, ooh, this is flimsy too. Maybe we shouldn't try with that. Maybe we should try with this. Uh, it'll cut, but it's gonna take me three hours to do that. We're gonna sharpen this butter knife. Two, eight, nine, ten. I don't know if it's doing anything. I don't know that it did anything on this butter knife. It's washed now, so let's give it a try but I think it's doing the same thing as before I sharpened it. I don't think it's doing any, I mean, it's cutting, it's a knife. I mean, it's a butter knife, but I mean, it's gonna cut something, but it's not like butter, like in that infomercial. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of working, it's kind of not. Am I just not strong enough? Should I have like muscles to do this? No. That's what this is for, to sharpen shit without effort. That's what I think. But it has passed all the tests I put it through. So I can't say much about it other than I guess it works. Tell me in the comments what you think about it. I'm totally on the fence on this one. I think it works. And then I'm kind of like, I don't know if it works. Will a regular sharpener do just as good of a job as this thing is doing? Cause I haven't seen anything where I just cut through it with ease. I'm gonna give this guy four. Vivian heads. I can't say I love it because I'm not that impressed. I think this is the first time I'm actually on the fence about a product. I'm really not sure which way to go with it. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.